Hi, Mark Gordon, Thursday, December 8th, 2011, with a gold silver spider report. This is the GLD. We're down about 1.9% uh, right now. Interestingly enough, we are coming down into the lower uh, support level of this triangle that's been forming here. And also, we have support here at this blue line, the key 50 day moving average. So, very interesting uh, events uh, going on with gold right now. If we hold here, that'll be a great sign, and we should come back up and challenge. Uh, this upper trend line here. If we do break out of that upper trend line, the next stop will be this uh, gray area here, the upper Bollinger Band, currently at about 174.50. 174.50. So let's watch this. If we get a breakdown, there's a uh, longer term trend line here that will get support at about the $165 level. And then down here at the lower, <coughs> lower Bollinger Band, which is at the um, uh, one, uh, I'm sorry, the lower Bollinger Band is at 162.32, 162.32. So um, let's watch this. Let's see if this triangle formation does hold up. Uh, if so, great sign. Uh, we'll run back up and challenge this. We break through. Um, next stop, about the uh, 174.50 level. And uh, flipping now real quickly to a weekly chart of the GLD, down about 2.13% on the week. And you can see the support coming here at this blue line, the 10-week moving average. So support uh, still holding down in this range here. And looking here at an hourly chart, you can see um, the previous low here at 165.53, and we're currently at 165.73, so holding above that last uh, break low here, so another good sign. So let's see if the support holds here. And silver right now down about 3% today. Uh, had come up here, was challenging this uh, red line here, which is the four-week moving average, and this upper trend line here, and uh, is uh, pulling back. Has been in sort of this uh, um, movement down here for the last five or six sessions, but still above this lower trend line. So let's see if we hold down in here. So both of the metals coming down to the lower trend line areas and testing support. Very critical uh, uh, time here. If we break down, then uh, there's really not much support down here. Uh, so uh, it, uh, be very careful in this area. But if we do hold, it'll be a great sign. That'll be uh, uh, three taps here, uh, which uh, could signal an upside, uh, potential upside breakout if we break out of this upper trend line. And looking at stocks now, this is the SPY, the S&P 500, down about 1.9% right now. Had come up to this upper trend line here. Uh, the first tap here uh, was back in late October. Uh, we did have a couple taps way back here in August that set up uh, a couple points for drawing this trend line. Uh, tapped it again here in early November, came back up here uh, around the first of the month here. Uh, tapped it a couple times and now pulling back here. Uh, so far on a bit lighter volume. Uh, so let's see what happens. We are now down below the 200 day moving average, but a, uh, a typical pullback after, um, after testing upper support levels. Did not have enough mustard to get through that. Uh, we did come off of a big move, so a consolidation in this area is completely understandable. Your next support comes in here at the 21 day moving average. Uh, this red line currently at 123.04, 123.04. And then again here at your 50-day moving average, which is a stronger support area, and that currently is at 122.04, 122.04. And then further support down here at the 100-day moving average, currently at 121.08. So uh, again, another flag formation, uh, testing this time the upper area, uh, unlike the metals which are down at the lower trend line. So there you have it, uh, silver and gold testing the lower trend line areas um, and uh, stocks uh, up near the upper trend line area. So good luck, everybody.